Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. So in today's session, I am simply just going to show you how we do a payment registration. By payment registration, it's more like in another, if I'm to use other terms, I'm trying to create a payment slip, one that I will print out and take for payment. I mean, in other words, I take to the bank and pay Uganda Revenue Authority taxes. So I can generate a PRN or payment registration number Either I can do so after I have logged in or I can do so without even logging in. So let's first look at the scenario where I am going to do it when I've not logged in. If I'm, I've not logged in, I'm going to simply come to the home page here of uh, URA, which is ura.go.ug. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to come, you know, hover my mouse here to under domestic taxes. I'm going to just come here and say make payment. I'm going to click on that. So when I click on make a payment, when I click on that link, it's going to load and it's going to bring uh, this page, as you can see, generate a payment slip. So I'm just going to come here and say click here to register a payment. Okay. From what you can see here, the notes say that this functionality will enable you to obtain a payment registration number, which is PRN, that you will present to the bank or quote on mobile money when making a payment. Okay, so you can either present it to the bank or you will quote it on mobile money when you're making a payment. So it's one of those two things. You can use the PRN, but to the bank. Of course, as you're presenting it to the bank, it's a, a sheet of paper you're going to print out and take to the bank. But when it comes to mobile money, as you are pressing the buttons, the USSD code, when it prompts you for to fill in the PRN or the payment registration number, you're just going to simply type it out. So here I'm going to go ahead and click here to register for payment. So I'm going to click there. So once I click there, as you can see, it's loading and um, it will only require us to now start filling in the details of what we want to pin, print. So from these headings, you just keep following. Uh, here we have the payment type up here, it's DT. So it means that this is how it looks like when you have not logged in. So when you've not logged in, the select the payment type is DT, but it can also be customs. But the customs option can only come after you've logged in. Then we have here tax head and the tax head we have NTR, which stands for non-tax revenue. Then we have this other option for tax type. And these are the examples of the other tax types, uh, IT, which is income tax, VAT, excise duty, withholding tax, gaming tax, and whatever. Then we have other non-tax revenue. Other non-tax revenue falls here. So this is uh, mostly money that you're paying, maybe things like for pa driving permit, you're trying to pay to the Ministry of Works for whatever license, or you're, you're paying for... You know those other fee, those other fees that are charged by other statutory bodies, other government ministries, departments, and agencies. Uganda Revenue Authority collects money on behalf of those other entities. So this is where you normally go. This video is about taxes. So let me click on the middle option for tax type. Then down here, you're just going to go ahead and you know put in your tin here. Let me just put a random tin here. Once you put in the tin, you click outside here. Once you click outside, this tin is going to auto populate, and uh, it the, the other f you know cells will will fill up. So from here, we have the per per period selection. Definitely, this you select which applies to you, whether it's the period before July 2021 or period after July 2021. The July. The period before July 2021, you're basically just going to be paying a consolidated amount to just clear the entire, you know, amount before July, the period below, okay? But if it is the period after July 2021, the amounts you're going to pay are going to be apportioned or assigned to specific, you know, to specific um, periods. For example, if it is income tax, income tax is paid every year. So when you're paying money that relates to the period after July 2021, it will be apportioned according to, you know, what period are you paying for? Are you paying for 2023? Are you paying for 2024? Are you paying for 2025? 
if it is VAT that you are paying, VAT is paid monthly. So periods of July 2021, you will have to specify which months you're paying. Are you paying on January, February, March? That's for periods after July 2021. But periods before July 2021, the amount there, if there's any balance that you have to pay there, it is just a consolidated amount that you're going to pay to clear the outstanding balance for the entire period before 2021 July. Because this during this period, there was uh, no... Uh, the issue of the apportionment of money in the system, the IT had not yet done it. Okay, so that's the period selection. Then basis of payment. Are you paying based on a return? If you click on that, it means you're trying to pay you, you're trying to pay money that you've paid on uh, against a return. If it is an assessment, then that's it. The assessments here, we are talking of additional assessments, advanced assessments that have been sent to you and you're paying an assessment. If it is as a result of audit, you know, sometimes they could, you could be audited. If that, if that, those are your circumstances, you click here, audit, and you click, you know, you, you you fill in the relevant details if it is account payment now for account payment it means that let's say you've been having uh, some money on the account and you want to clear the outstanding balance on the entire account as a whole you're not paying for a period but the entire account so of course if you let's say you're going to say account payment now this is what we normally choose when we want to clear the entire account we want to pay money for the entire account we want to remain with zero balance or we want to to clear consistently so at the tax head i'll click on this tax head you you, you select the tax head that is applicable let me try and select pay as you earn right there the tax head then now um it will ask you for, do you want to pay for a single period do you want to pay for multiple periods you want to or whatever period range you select which one is applicable and you choose now there's this button here called fetch outstanding you might be wanting to pay money to clear on maybe the outstanding balance so you're going to come here and click fetch outstanding unfortunately here it can only happen or it can only the outstanding can only happen if you have logged in and i'm going to show you that after logging in so the, here is the thing uh for when it comes to the periods if you want a single period you click on single period and you click the period here that i want to pay from this period to that period or you want to pay multiple periods you click on that you select the multiple periods here that is you select a date here let's let me just pick a let me say i'm going to choose from that to that okay this is september so i'm going to have come here and click at period so that is the first period how much amount am i going to pay let's say i'm going to pay twenty thousand to two hundred thousand so that's the amount to pay then i can select another period i can come here and maybe put i click now this is october i okay let me select another period here uh, let me select another one at the back here maybe from july here july 2024 to let's say again july 30th 2024 then i come here and click add period are you seeing they keep adding it themselves then i can say maybe in this period i want to pay six hundred thousand. okay like that they keep showing the total amount to pay so i'm going to i continue like that because i've selected multiple period i go i can click another period I'm, I'm selecting periods in the back at random here okay maybe this is another period from september 2023 to this 2023 september 2023 i'll click add period and when i click add period i'll go and add the amount of money that i want to pay so you realize that um you keep selecting the multiple periods and then that's the total amount to pay then definitely down here you select the payment methods may this is the word the, the one cash or mobile money this is the most common one and then you enter the text and then you go ahead and say accept and register okay so that's it if you want to pay multiple periods or you want period range i can come and click here period range like that and i'll still do the same 
so maybe period range this is pairs you earn but i want to pay maybe from maybe last year it's september 2023 up to september 2024 and then i'll click add period and now instead it's going to bring all the periods at once as you can see that is now if i select period range I have selected a period of from September last year up to September 2023 to September 2024. It brings all the periods at once. Then I just come here and just put in the figures that I want to, the amount of money that I want to select to, to pay all through to the to down here. Okay, you just keep putting, and then you do the rest. You you, you come and it's just something easy to follow. You enter this image and then you click accept and register and you're able to print your payment registration slip. Then you go and pay. Now, this is how it looks like when you have not logged in. So let me just go and log in and create a payment registration slip when I have logged in. There's something that I just want to show you. Remember here, um, there is this button, Fetch Outstanding. If I click on this Fetch Outstanding here, you see up here the thing says that this functionality is only available after login so i'm going to log into an account here and i'm going to click here fetch outstanding so that you see what happens when it comes through uh, i think fetch outstanding could be one that you know some people always do not know how much you are uh, how much they owe you are eh? and that fetch outstanding functionality goes a long way in helping you get a picture of how your account status is like and it helps you to generate your prn so i'm going to refresh this i'm going to close this and i'm going to log into you know ura.go.ug again this time i'm going to log into an actual existing account so when i click login after putting in the details i'm going to come here to payment right there after logging in at payment i'm going to come here and click generate payment slip so i'm going to click on that after clicking on generate payment slip so now this is how it comes now when it like i said up here after you've logged in the select payment time op type option is going to show whether customs or dt remember when you've not logged in it only shows domestic taxes for customs taxes you it doesn't show after you've logged in here it's going to show whether it's customs or domestic taxes okay so i'm going to click dt because i want to click pay for dt so i'm going to click on that so after clicking dt which means domestic taxes is the tax head here i'm going to click on this middle one i explained it earlier why then when i come down here we have this section of taxpayer details because i've already logged in the taxpayer details automatically populate they are supposed to be definitely consistent with the tax details of the team that i have logged in okay so then we come down here to the period I'm, I'm definitely paying for the period after July 2021 and now we come here basis of payment I'm going to click here account payment so after account payment I'm going to come down here to the next prompt tax head I'm going to select pay as you earn but you can select any other tax head that is applicable VAT income tax whatever it is that you want so I'm going to click pay as you earn so when I click pay as you earn, I'm going to come here and click fetch outstanding. Now when I click here on fetch outstanding, it's going to bring me how much money is outstanding for, for all the respective periods. So I'm going to click here fetch outstanding. And from down here, you can see that the outstanding, they're telling me that the outstanding amount is 847,131. So you see this link here, show breakdown, okay? I would like to know the breakdown how is this what's the composition of this amount where is it coming from so i'm going to click here show period wise breakdown i click on that when i click on period wise breakdown i come here it as you can see here it's showing me the outstanding principle the outstanding penalty outstanding interest you know the, the, this is how it is so when i click on fetch outstanding it gives me a snapshot of the breakdown of the money i'm going to pay and which period it's going to be relating to and this these amounts of money are always corresponding to you know they're always corresponding when i pay they will go and clear this period so what do i do i can click here pay full okay this is the pay full so when i click on that box 
the amount that I'm going to pay because I've clicked pay full it will come and populate itself here in this column of amount to pay so even here now for this case I want to clear the entire account so I'll click pay full pay full so you notice that only every time I click the amount that I'm going to pay she populates here in this column right there I click there pay full even here it's 210,000 I'm going to click pay full so the 210,000 comes here even here I want to clear this whole money I click pay full it comes in case I do not want to pay full let's say this is 200,000 for this period and I just want to pay a hundred thousand of that period I'll simply come here and type it in there a hundred thousand okay just like that I, 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 I do not click this box then this is 200,000 I want to pay full I click on that it will show so the periods where I do not want to pay the entire amount I desist from clicking that 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 box but well in this example I want to clear the entire you know the entire um, okay when you see this it gives you the flexibility that you're able to pay some if you do not have the entire 847,000 as in this example maybe you want to pay only 500,000 you can apportion it the way you want the way you deem fit okay and as you are apportioning it you, you, you notice down here as I'm clicking here okay as I keep clicking this you notice down here the total amount to pay it keeps so if I click on that box to pay full it increases to 336 if I click another box there it increases to 542 so in other words you're able to apportion the money you're going to pay to whatever period you want so I want to clear everything so I'm going to select pay full all through from top to bottom so I'm clicking pay full pay full and so from here they are saying total amount to pay is 847,131 so that's what I'm going to pay so I'm, I'm going to click down here so um, I'm going to use the cash option or mobile money option but there are people who can use payment transfer option you can click there or online payments I'm going to focus on the cash option it's the most common one okay so enter text for given here so I'm going to go here and and just do that okay then from there I'm going to come and click here accept and register okay they are telling me that I should note that I'm about to register a payment under domestic taxes that this payment cannot be used to clear taxes incurred at importation if you wish to make a payment for customs purposes please select cancel and contact your nearest customs office for further information okay so I'm just I'm, I'm really uh, this I'm, I'm, I'm ready to press okay I'm only paying for domestic taxes so I click okay so the moment I click OK, it will load like that. And there we are. Boom! We do have a payment registration. I think you can see here it's 847. That's how much you are going to pay. And if I'm to scroll down here, you're able to see that the payment registration slip, it's showing the periods that I'm going to pay for. So I'm going to print this out and go ahead and pay in the bank or I'm simply going to quote the payment registration number right here okay I'm going to pay the payment registration number which is right there and I'm going to pay using mobile money so I stay as I will press star 185 hash I'll follow the prompts pay the taxes and at the time when they are prompting me for PRN I'll just append this so that's how we generate a payment registration slip for tax payment purposes. My name is Arnold. Thank you for watching.